Good afternoon. My name is Warren Rutherford. I'll be your host during this presentation on Franchising Smart for Veterans. If you have questions, please write them in the comment bar to the right of your screen, and I'll be sure to address them as we proceed through the presentation. Our presentation should take approximately 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the questions. And these are the items which we will be covering during the presentation. VETFRAN is a strategic initiative founded in 1991 that includes more than 46 international franchise association, franchise or member companies offering financial incentives, training and mentoring to veterans who are interested in small business ownership and or a career path in franchising. At MatchPoint, we give franchise buyers processes which help ensure the best franchise purchase for them. MatchPoint has a tested and proven six-step system to ensure that candidates get the right match the first time. The information which MatchPoint provides to its clients gives them the same advantage as if they were a franchise industry insider. Our client tools are unparalleled in the industry. And, I should note, our services are free of charge to our clients. As hundreds of thousands of young men and women return from Iraq and Afghanistan, including many wounded warriors, the International Franchise Association, Matchpoint Network, and other franchise businesses have launched Operation Enduring Opportunity. The business model for franchising is simple. Every well-run business, after all, depends on operations, marketing, sales, public relations, purchasing, training, and software that work well together. The difference with franchising is these systems have already been well developed along with a strong mission, vision, strategies, and objectives to drive business growth. When approaching the world of franchising for the first time, it's probably best to think business first and franchising second, since many of the same skills and resources will be transferable to the new model. As a veteran, we ask you to assess your capacity to work within existing franchise models by understanding what drives you. For instance, if you know you're great at problem solving and the franchise owner role requires you to be great at sales and understanding a prospect's motive, it may be that your talents don't match the franchisor's needs. However, if you're great at selling, establishing relationships, and getting things done, and the franchise owner's role requires that, it could be a great match. Finally, if you're prone to follow traditional ways and rules while the franchise owner role may prefer one who is creative and independent, then there might be a mismatch. I've highlighted opposites to illustrate the mismatch between talents and non-talents. What you need to do as a veteran is look at what talents, behaviors, values, that are required by the franchisor to successfully implement their business model. First off, think about identifying your goals and vision, short and long term. Know yourself, your strengths and your weaknesses. Be able to identify good fits and be willing to follow a process before you make a decision. And that process includes initiating contact with franchisors, reviewing their initial packet, reading and understanding all the disclosure documents they provide to you, contacting existing franchisees for validation calls, visiting the franchisor when it's offered, and then making that decision. Here are some considerations for you as a veteran. Can you work within the system? Are you an entrepreneur as well? Relative to risk, understand that any business enterprise is not risk-free. There is a 90% plus success rate, however, for the franchising industry. You need to be able to work with others. Buying a franchise is like getting married. It's a legally binding relationship. And how can you manage false expectations? Understand there's no instant success. There's a tremendous time and financial commitment, particularly up front. And be realistic about expected outcomes. Relative to managing the business, what is your previous business experience, 
and how can you assess best your abilities to run a business? Oh, and last but not least, there are the fees. There's a franchise fee, which is a one-time upfront fee, a royalty fee, an advertising fee, which are generally percentages of gross sales. And then there are ancillary fees relative to starting the business up, what we call working capital during the first year. Yogi's bearer's approach here is appropriate. There's three roads. The first road, you might want to stay the course and find a new job with no surprises and look at serial employment and let's hope not unemployment. The second road is to go it alone. Start an independent business where the failure rate is very high. You could buy an existing business. The odds are better, but you get to see the financials at least. The question there is, will you get properly trained and have ongoing support? And the third road is to partner with success. You could join a franchised organization that's established and verifiable and that has and enjoys a 90% plus success rate amongst franchisees. Which road are you thinking about taking? Did you know that a franchise opens every eight minutes in the United States alone? And that there are more than 3,500 franchise concepts in over 7,500 industries? Yep, there's life after food. And one out of 12 retail businesses is a franchise. Let's look at some franchise statistics. Take a moment and look at the graph on the left. According to the SBA, 90% of franchises are, after five years are still open. Now, take a look at the graph on the right. 80% of all independent business startups are closed after the first five years. Which graph do you want to belong to? There are three main business models for franchises, home, serviced, and location-based. Within these, they can be business-to-business -business or business-to-consumer. Depending on the model, location-based can be simple or sophisticated retail, but in each instance, they require sales to come through the door or make the phone ring. And there are a variety of methods that franchisors have adapted to drive sales. From a financing perspective, this is pretty much what you have as, as opportunities. You can get money from family or friends. You can get an SBA loan or loan guarantee, get home equity lines, or bring in partnerships or investors. I want to talk a little bit about the Patriot Express Loan Guarantee Program set up explicitly for veterans through the Small Business Administration and Veterans Administration in the United States. Loan guar loans that are available up to a half a million dollars and they qualify for the SBA's maximum guarantee of up to 85% of loans, $150,000 or less, and up to 75% for loans over $150,000 and up to $500,000. For loans above $350,000, lenders are required to take all available collateral. Essentially, these SBA loan guarantees help you to qualify for loans you might otherwise not be qualified for. And they have very low interest rates. A number of franchisors will also offer what is called VetFran financing to veterans as part of their affiliation in the VetFran program. And many franchisors will discount their franchise fees for qualified veterans. As I mentioned earlier, Matchpoint offers a free service to people who are thinking about getting into a franchise business of their own. Our company was founded with a single purpose and that is to allow normal individuals like you and I the same tools, techniques, and coaching for finding a franchise that are usually restricted to a franchisor's inner circle. In fact, we even call the service we offer the insider's approach to finding a franchise. Our heat map profile looks at your preference for leadership, customer service, sales, and operations professions. 
It's a very well-developed and designed behavioral assessment that helps to match you up with the right franchise industry segment. If you would like a preliminary look at your heat map profile, I've copy and pasted the link in the chat bar to the bottom right. Copy it now so you can go to it after our presentation is over. Once you've completed it, I'll be notified that you've completed the assessment and I'll give you a call to go over the results with you. I want to thank you for participating in our session this afternoon. If you'd like an opportunity to discuss the information presented here with me further, write down my telephone number or my email address listed above on the screen and let me know how I can assist you. And if you know returning veterans who you work with who might be interested in talking with me, please give them my contact information or invite them to our next session on July 11, 2012. Thank you very much. This is Warren Rutherford, Matchpoint Senior Franchise Consultant and owner of the Executive Suite in Hyannis, Massachusetts.